Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel, your home for cryptocurrency news and interviews. What a bloody day it was today, my friends. The crypto market is just red across the board. A crypto crash is what you can call it. Bitcoin, of course, seeing a drop, pulling the altcoins with it. And we got a lot of liquidations of leverage, which is good. It's bullish. And I'll explain why. And I'll give you some numbers on the total volume of, of leverage that was liquidated. And we're going to talk about President Biden and what he could be doing with crypto very soon via an executive order, because this is actually following what Jerome Powell at the Fed just said with the digital currency report they released. And uh, it's very interesting timing. We also have some bullish news with BlackRock, and they are filing for a Bitcoin, uh, excuse me, with a blockchain crypto ETF, not a Bitcoin ETF. Um, also, the SEC is kind of going after MicroStrategy regarding their Bitcoin accounting this may not be good news. Uh, I want to give you the details there. And then there are some updates around the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple with regards to what the SEC is uh, requiring or asking of the judge. So we're going to break it all down. Before we do, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button. If you're new here, it helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. If you're listening on a podcast site, please give me five stars. Um, I don't even want to look at this market uh, cap list right here on coin market cap because it is just full of red guys Bitcoin right now is under thirty six thousand four hundred dollars <laughs> uh, man is it, just bloody ethereum is under twenty six hundred dollars uh, I'm not even gonna go down the rest of the list uh, just to give you guys heads up and this is not financial or investment advice do your own research I did add I bought the dip and I added Solana and Filecoin to my portfolio. So just a heads up on that. I always like to be transparent with you guys on what I'm doing, but that does not mean you should go out and do what I'm doing. Do your own research and go off your own convictions. Now, now on the Bitcoin weekly chart, a massive red candle is being printed for this week. There's no hope of closing on a green this week. That, that is done, guys. So uh, we'll see where this takes us, but we, we are still in a bull market. Um, it, this thing is a lengthening out, right? The lengthening cycles theory, and it's very volatile, as we've seen historically. So we just got to be patient. Um, and we have some folks weighing in on this. Uh, different analysts, Credible Crypto said, by now, you know, I think the bottom is very close to in uh, close to here. Uh, it, it very close to in, excuse me. Here's what I'm looking for in the coming days as signs of confirmation. I think we take the lows at 37.3K, but want to see a bullish reaction from there. Then push up to 44 plus, 44K plus by the end of the month within 10 days. So essentially what he's saying, look, let it crash, let it do what it has to do. But we want to find a bottom and then we want to bounce upwards. We want to see a bounce upwards. And I think we will see that soon, right? Uh, there's a lot of leverage and things that got uh, liquidated. And I'll give you an example um, if my Twitter would load here. Uh, so within the last 24 hours, $745 million of liquidations reported by Blockworks. Uh, the number of traders liquidated over 194,000. And for Bitcoin uh, specifically, it was $297 million, Ethereum $202 million, uh, Solana $35 million, Cardano at $13 million, Polkadot at $10 million, XRP at $8.8 .8 million. Now I tweeted about this. This is good. Flushing the system, flushing all the leverage out. We find that bottom and then we move upwards. So in my opinion, this is good news. Now, I don't take financial advice from Gene Simmons. Obviously, he's he's a classic rocker, right? Uh, Well-known, part of the band Kiss. He's also heavily invested in crypto. He tweeted out the following, just for the, sec for, just for the record, I'm a hodler. I ain't selling anything. I have 14 crypto slash DeFi holdings, and I have faith 
the really good times are right around the corner. Now, <laughs> it, I just thought it was interesting that Gene Simmons is, is telling people to hodl. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it's pretty funny. And I, obviously, I respect the guy once again. He, he's one of the all time uh, great uh, part of what he was part of one of the all time great bands, of course. Um, but it's just nevertheless just an interesting thing to see in 2022. Uh, Gene Simmons telling you to hodl. <laughs> All right. Uh, President Bukele of El Salvador, well, they bought the dip today. He says uh, El Salvador just bought 410 Bitcoin for only $15 million. Wow. Um, I've said it many times. There are you know, different factors and items that we see happening within the market, such as miners are not selling. More of these institutions in El Salvador and so forth are buying the dip. Uh, because they're expecting higher prices. So like I said, I, I personally don't believe this thing is over. I still believe there are new all-time highs that Bitcoin is going to hit. And then uh, we're actually going to have a true alt season. But, you know, like I said before, that is not guaranteed. There's no certainty. So please don't come back to me in three months if that doesn't play out and say, hey, Tony, you said this was going to happen. Yeah, well, I'm also saying that that's my thesis, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen because I can't predict the future. And if anyone says they can, please ask them for next week's winning lottery numbers. But we can at least look at the charts and the data and the trends and form that thesis based on some level of facts, right? So we're not just shooting in the dark. So uh, we want to get as close to being accurate as possible. So very interesting that you know they're buying the dip here. Now, here's the big news in my opinion. So Jennifer Epstein, who's a White House reporter at Bloomberg, she tweeted out the following today. The Biden administration is preparing to release an initial government-wide strategy for digital assets. As soon as next month, current plan is for Biden to sign an executive order for studies and stability, illicit uses, global competitiveness, and more. Um, I like this, guys. Look, I, we've heard some rumblings about the president's working group. They may not fully understand everything, but I think they will get there. And we're seeing action. We're seeing progress. We're seeing move in the right direction, right? Having the dialogue, doing the research, and as they outlined here, doing the studies on what's happening. Now, in my opinion, uh, I think they know what is happening. You know, that I don't believe that these people are all of a sudden waking up like, oh, Bitcoin, oh, CBDCs. I think these things have been in works for years, years. And this is really interesting timing because yesterday the Federal Reserve released their digital currency report and they kind of uh, punted on uh, saying, hey, we're about to launch the CBDC. They're like, hey, we want to, but... Um, you know, we're waiting on Congress and the executive branch to tell us or give us the green light. So very interesting timing. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's funny how politics and these people work. It's, it's like a show, right? I think somebody uh, would say all the world's a stage, right? So um, this is good in my opinion, and we'll see what the actual details are in about a month or so, <clears throat> or next month, I should say. Now, BlackRock, I mean, they have $10 trillion under management. They're one of the largest asset managers, one of the most powerful, like they would go buy real estate across the country. That's how big they are, right? Um, many of you may recognize that name. It's, it's the tier one of these investment firms. Lots of money, lots of power. Well, they, uh, they're the world's large, largest asset manager. They have filed a, for a Bitcoin, excuse me, a blockchain ETF. I'm so used to saying Bitcoin ETF. Uh, it's blockchain ETF. And let me give you some details. Uh, so BlackRock's ETF will focus on companies developing crypto technologies. The CEO said that he sees huge opportunities in crypto last October. So some of people may come out and say, well, why are they investing in the technologies, the companies and not the assets? Well, one, there's no Bitcoin spot ETF. Two, there's no full right, uh, clarity. They would love to uh, invest in the assets directly, but as the world's wealthiest asset manager, uh, without clarity, they won't take that risk. But what they will do is invest in the picks and shovels companies. What do I mean by that? Uh, think of the gold rush that happened in the United States and other parts of the world. Well, 
the people who are trying to go mine gold, they needed picks, they needed shovels. If you were a company providing that, you made a lot of money. And if you were an investor back then, you would have invested in the, the picks and shovels companies, right? Who are building the infrastructure. And this is why I emphasize so many times about the investments, the mergers, the acquisitions, the expansions, the raising of capital um, by these crypto companies, even though you know it's not a direct investment in the tokens, it is helping to build the infrastructure for the tokens, the on and off ramps, the ability to do commerce with those tokens, which will increase their value. And I hope you're able to understand that and put your business hat on and, and look at the market holistically, that this is so important. If you want higher prices, it's not just the speculation, but the adoption that's going to have to help drive the price up. So the fact that BlackRock is investing in the picks and shovels, the companies that are building the infrastructure, is very bullish in my opinion. And I think once we get a Bitcoin spot ETF and, and some clarity, they will go directly into the assets as well, double dipping, as I've stated many times. So very bullish news there. Now, the SEC, is, this is interesting. So MicroStrategy is being investigated by the US SEC for unlawful accounting practices regarding their Bitcoin investments. Uh-oh, I, I know, uh, you know, Michael Saylor, look, I've interviewed the guy on my channel. I respect him. I know he's a very smart guy. He went to MIT. He was an early mover in Amazon and investing in a lot of early tech companies. So uh, in no way can I you know, bash this guy like some people on Twitter would do because of nonsense or you know, childish name calling. He's uh, obviously a multimillionaire. He's obviously the founder of MicroStrategy and CEO. He's been buying Bitcoin and putting it on his balance sheet. Now, according to him, though, back in the day, he got the full clarity on this, and they even did the Bitcoin for Corporations initiative. The SEC didn't say anything, but all of a sudden, there's some issue now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is going to be some big problem for them, but it shows the SEC under Genster, they are not stopping with just altcoins. They're going to try to go after everything. I, I I've said it so many times. I know even a lot of the XRP holders have been saying it on Twitter as well. Genser is not only going after uh, all specific altcoins. He's going after everything. He wants to stop stable or slow stable coins now. He wants to stop crypto lending. Recently, Bloomberg reported that he said he wants to go after exchanges. This guy has to be stopped. And that's why we need Congress to step in, guys. So uh, let me give you some details here. Uh, let's see. Shares of MicroStrategy fell 17.8% on Friday afternoon after evaluations that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission rejected the company's Bitcoin accounting strategy. Um, I certainly want to hear what Michael Saylor has to say about this. We probably will hear it very soon. Uh, a submission launch on Thursday proved that the SEC is rejecting the accounting device used by using used by MicroStrategy for Bitcoin and reporting its earnings. Here's a quote. We observe your response to the preceding five remarks and we oppose your adjustment to the Bitcoin uh, vulnerability expenses for your non-GAAP actions, the submitting said. Please edit to take away this adjustment in future filing. So we shall see what happens, but you know, MicroStrategy has billions of, uh, of dollars of Bitcoin on their balance sheet. I don't think they're in some massive danger, but it just shows that the entire crypto market needs to come together and fight the SEC. This is, and Bitcoin, you know, a back maximalist, I guess we, we, you'd have to call them that, sometimes have the mindset that, see, huh, Bitcoin is, is, is not going to be in trouble at all. Uh, all coins, whatever, good best of luck to you, right? And it's like, no, the market is more than Bitcoin, man. Come on. So we all got to come together to fight this. Um, speaking of which, Stuart Alderati uh, tweeted out some comments regarding the SEC and their recent um, objection. So the SEC files motion requesting until February 17, 2022 to file a motion for partial reconsideration of the DPP ruling and asked to file 20 page brief to submit more documents for in-camera review in support of a motion to reconsider. 
the SEC seeks partial reconsideration of only a single aspect of the order relating to drafts and emails in connection with a June 14, 2018 speech by guess who, Bill, Bill Henman, Ripple has objected to the SEC's request and uh, Ripple's general counsel responded to that uh, statement and he tweeted out the following, we've reached the do as I say, not as I do stage of this lawsuit with this latest from the SEC. So obviously the SEC, bunch of hypocrites, I would say the, with the exception of the person, Elad Roisman, um, they're trying to cover their tracks. We've talked about it a lot, right? Uh, now, Bill Hinman's the drunk uncle. He was drunk when he said Ethereum wasn't a, spe- uh, Ethereum wasn't a security. You know, he, I don't know who wrote that. We don't know. He, he was lying. Uh, we have nothing to say. But, but, you know, at that time, all of them were treating that as gospel and they were talking about it. So Stewart continued. He said, if you're curious to what I'm referring to, uh, he, he provided a link to their, um, their, their website for, uh, with a quote, firms should not use lengthy privilege pre- previews, excuse me, firms should not use lengthy privilege reviews to delay responding to routine document requests. So their own uh, stuff on their website, they're not even abiding to that. It's pathetic. It's just simply pathetic. Um, so that's kind of what's happening here, guys, uh, with, with this lawsuit. And finally, want to end it on Twitter is hiring for crypto. Uh, the initial focus will be NFTs and DAO. So the, the title of the person's uh, or the title of, of the, the job position will be senior product manager of crypto. So everybody's building, everybody's adopting, things are growing despite what's happening with the price here. Things are still progressing in the industry, guys, and price will eventually rebound and follow that. Yes, there are bear and bull markets, but uh, I don't believe, once again, that we have completed this bull market as yet. Um, I do believe there will be a bear market, may not be as brutal as the ones in in the uh, years past, but I believe, uh, I think a lot of institutions are gonna use this dip as a buying opportunity. Once again, not financial or investment advice, please do your own research. I'm just sharing my thoughts, my opinions, and what I personally see as someone who's been in the crypto market since 2016. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, it's so brutal. You know, if the price bothers you, what's happening, step away. Step away from the market. Go have a great weekend. Go hang out with your friends. Go do something fun outside. Don't, don't pay attention to it. And that's what you got to do to, you know, maintain your mental health. Come back, refresh as the price starts bouncing upwards. And, uh, you know, I learned, I've learned to do that. <laughs> Someone who makes content about crypto, I've learned that some days, the price is down. Uh, I'm not even looking at coin market cap or whatever portfolio app you're, or you know site you use. Just don't look at it. Just go about your day. <laughs> all right, guys, leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you all later.